Hello once again. Well, I'm going to discuss drive-in theaters. Years ago, I didn't go to too many drive-in theaters. I liked the small uh, independent theaters that we used to have in the, in the uh, small city that I was living in. And of course, naturally, I wasn't driving, so, uh, you know, there was like four or five little regular theaters in the neighborhood uh, in uh, New Haven where I was living at the time. But I have been to a few drive-in theaters as I started driving, and I really miss them. Uh, they have a... they're unique. So I'm going to do a video here of uh, more of a picture slideshow than anything else of days gone by of the drive-in theater. There's even one here about five miles away that's been closed for, oh, I would say 25 years anyways. Uh, and, and those pictures will be included in their slideshow as well. Um, back in those days, uh, your popcorn was 10 and 15 cents, sometimes as much as a quarter, depends on where you went, and that applied to the small inside theaters as well. And you'd get a big package of popcorn for very little money as I had mentioned in other videos discussing this particular subject. Anyways, uh, some of these theaters, as well as selling hot dogs and hamburgers, and I'll tell you the honest truth, the hot dogs were not very good. They were fried on top of the grill, which is the worst way to cook a hot dog. sometimes split down and separated. I, I hate them that way. I like them steamed or boiled or, or grilled sometimes on an open grill, but uh, uh, they weren't very good. And some of these theaters had uh, actual ice cream, um, little uh, cups of ice cream and little cones and stuff that were already pre-made and you'd peel the paper off the top and they were like 15 cents, 25 cents or whatever. Uh, but the popcorn was uh, the most popular, and um, we would put the car speaker on the window. You'd roll down the window, and you'd put the car speaker up uh, on the side of the, uh, you know, the passenger side or the driver's side, wherever. And uh, you'd turn it up so you, everybody in the car could hear it. Also, uh, on the local theater here, and I'm sure a lot of theaters have done it, uh, they used to have like three dollars for a car load. Some theaters even had a dollar for a car load. Uh, but that was probably even before my time, I'd imagine. So drive-ins were quite popular and um, they were very good for, you know, watching movies as well as <laughs> doing other things. But anyway, so let's take a, a, a little nostalgic trip back in time to the good old days of the drive-in theater. <laughs> 